Hello, everybody. So let's talk about some of the more confusing aspects of non-dual teachings. Because uh, you've got one set of teachers that will tell you, uh, well, there's nothing to do and no one to do it. So you can't do anything to hasten your awakening. And, um, and that's that. So just give up. And then, um, there's another kind of teacher that will tell you you need to meditate every day for an hour for the rest of your life. <laughs> the, now, the question might be, which one is right? Is it, do we need to practice? Or do we not need to practice? Is there any point in practicing? Who the hell is going to practice since there's nobody here, right? The, uh, there's, this is, and, and for that matter, since there's no one here and nothing, nothing to do and, and no one to do it, why am I even cutting this video? Why are you listening to this video if you actually believe that? See, listening to this video is a practice. If you really believe that there's nothing to do and no one to do it, then cut the video off. Or you might believe the third school of thought which is uh, Nizar Gadatta, my guru, would sometimes say, when I say my guru, it's not like we pound around. I just, I, I followed his teachings. And uh, I think we pound around now. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> he would tell you, the only thing you need to do is listen to a, is a sage. Spend time, listen to these words, listen to a sage. And you don't have to do anything else. Now, these are really conflicting reports, aren't they? And, I mean, it's not just a little confusing. It is mega confusing. And it keeps us jumping through hoops forever and ever. I know. I know. I did it. I did it for 24 years. And um, and now it's been quite a while where I haven't had to do it any longer. But I sure did it for 24 years. So don't get the idea that it's some kind of quick study or, or uh, uh, over here. There's not. I was dumber than a rock. <laughs> and now I know less than I do then. So, that's true. So, what I'm going to tell you is that the people who tell you that there's nothing to do and no one to do it, they're absolutely true. That's the absolute truth. But it's not the relative truth. See, it's that absolute truth is true as far as it goes. I'm just suggesting that perhaps it does not go far enough. So that from the relative view, there is the sense that I'm a unit and 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 I'm nothing but a unit. And I can, and, and this unit is uh, 170 pounds of, of unenlightened meat and I can't wait till this 170 pounds of meat does what enlighten. Those does wake up. It'll be great. I just know it will. And it's going to be great for Fred, for Fred to be awake. And then maybe I, I realize that the, maybe the meat itself is not going to wake up, but that, that, that there's some variation on that. So that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> just give up on the idea that there's enlightened meat and unenlightened. That is the primary, that probably that one thing is probably what screws you up more than anything else. Because you will look at a teacher and, I'll get, and you can go, that woman is enlightened. Right? That is, she, she's got it. She's enlightened. God, I, I wish I could be like her. Well, you are like her. You, in fact, you are her. <laughs> By which I mean you are the animating presence in that 125 pounds of enlightened meat. So, it's, it's not the meat that wakes up. So there's no point in the meat doing the animated cadaver going through lots of practices you know, sitting and bowing and scraping and chanting and all this, that, and the other. There's no point in that whatsoever. Unless there is. <laughs> <laughs> so,
See, it's it's it is. That's the absolute truth, but it's re the absolute truth is there's nothing to, nothing to do, no one to do it. But the relative truth is that it may be for you. And how does that work out? When there's number one, when I talk about when that may may work for you, you got to understand just one thing going on. This is oneness talking to oneness about oneness. This is a whiteness talking to a whiteness about the clouds that a whiteness is is ex or ex is experiencing over there. And um, hopefully we're going to thin out the character, you know, because that's what we're doing here. We didn't, you didn't, if you think you came here to clear up your character, you're you're just looking at the wrong video, right? Because there's the, that, that character, the the Bob or the Carol or the Ted or the House, is never going to wake up over there. What's what wakes up is the animating presence of that anim, of, of that animated cadaver. Right, the thing that makes that cadaver live, the thing by which the cadaver can appear to hear, the thing by which the cadaver can be used to see, the thing by which senses operate can be noticed and explored, the thing that drives those, which is not this. See, it feels like it's this, it seems like it's this, but it's not this. So, because it's not this, that's the reason they tell you that there's no point <clears throat> in your trying to do anything. I mean, this is a dream character. You come to see that very clearly in Awakening. This is a dream character. What on earth could a dream character, a non-existent, make-believe dream character possibly do to help you uh, to, 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 ch to change the absolute. Well, the, the answer is nothing. That's the reason what they're saying about the no one to do it is absolutely true. There's nothing that a make-believe character could possibly do to affect the absolute. But within the dream, it still appears to. See, this is the thing, is that we're the the... It's not non-duality if I tell you I am the vastness and a, who cares about a unit or what it does. That's not non-duality. That's absolutism. And, you know, if that's your, that's your thing, go right ahead. I got no quarrels with it. I don't care what you're into. I don't care if you wake up or not. I'm not, it, because it doesn't really matter. Your awakeness, whether you know it or not. Now, when you know it, there can be some joy over there, experience through a particular unit. There could be some, wow, some keen spiritual insights and all this and that and the other. And when that unit dies, it won't matter. It just won't. It, 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 now, it will, well, I say it won't. <laughs> it won't matter to the unit. Let's put it that way. It certainly won't matter to the unit. But the Conditioning that has been seen through or not seen through, there's, there, there's sort of a difference there. Because that conditioning doesn't pass when the unit does. The conditioning doesn't, that doesn't disappear when the character does. There's inherent energy over here and it can't disappear. It never yet disappears. It's just transmuted. So, some people are drawn to practice. Some teachers are drawn to practice and are drawn to teach about practices. And there, and there are people who are drawn to them. And if you are drawn to practicing and if you are drawn to a teacher who's, who's teaching about practice, win and run, right? That's your path. That's right. This path is not everybody's path. Non-duality is not everybody's path. It simply is not. It's just, it's just staggering. And I had a friend of mine in my living room over the weekend. He doesn't know anything about non-duality, but he has some, some idea of oneness and that I do something with people on the internet. And he's a dear friend. So I sat down and I talked to him. And, and, and it was, it, so I'm talking to somebody that knows nothing about what's going on here. Never watched a video like this. I gave him a copy of Beyond Recovery over a year ago. He's never read it. <laughs> He's an addict. He's a he's an act. You know, has been an active addict alcoholic. You want to read the book? Because it's just not pulled toward it. 
when it's supposed to work, what it's supposed to work, it's drinking. Well, yesterday was a little bit of difference, so he met me. But this is a guy that has no background in what we're doing whatsoever, and he didn't have a clue. And I led him through some things, and he saw some things, but awakeness never saw anything through him that I could tell. Right? There was, there was certainly no awakening. And I wasn't having an awakening session with him. But I was trying, nonetheless, I can't say I wasn't trying to wake him up. I was trying to uh, to move him. That's what I was really trying to do. And if I could win, woke him up in the mid, uh, while I was doing it, good for him. And if I didn't, great. But he was completely lost. He's going to be very much better off, probably, to come to understand that that I come from a oneness point of view and that he can think of that as God, right? And <clears throat> if he wants to de dedicate himself to the worship of God and Jesus and he really throws himself into it and just has at it, then good for him. That's what works for that unit. I got no problem with that whatsoever. I have no need to convert him whatsoever. I have taught, I have, I have, I have woken up because I was paid to do it people of many different faiths. And um, <clears throat> I don't think I succeeded in converting any of them to any sort of religion or spiritual thing that I'm involved in because I'm not involved in any religion or spiritual thing. I'm just trying to pull a whiteness out of denial because that's what's really going on here. So trying to pull a whiteness out of denial. See, because ultimately you're not that unit. <clears throat> ultimately you're not that 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 character or personality that you believe yourself to be. <clears throat> the thing that believes it's a bomb is awakeness itself. The thing that looks like a thread is awakeness itself. It's awakeness because there's only awakeness. There's nothing else. There's conscious awakeness and there's unconscious awakeness. See, when you've got an unconscious unit, so it appears that you've got an unconscious character. I mean, it's unconsciousness, but you've got one that is uh, <clears throat> that is not a, has has not come to know its true nature. You can't tell them about their true nature. I mean, you can. People do it all over the world all day long. It doesn't do much good. You can't, you know, the only thing you can do is is point things out so that they see it from the eyes of awakeness, so that it's seen from the eyes of awakeness. Awakeness is the one that's got to wake up. What has awakeness got to wake up to? It's got to wake up to the fact that it's awakeness and it's already awake. And it's already fully awake. That idea that there's, you know, some teachers teach that it takes forever to get this thing. Other teachers teach, or you know, or that, that you wake up, you wake up many times, you wake up every years or whatever. And other people teach, bam, bam, this is the big magic bullet that we all signed up for. And <clears throat> I'm not saying that big magic bullet doesn't happen. Good luck with it. I'm just saying it didn't happen for me. And I'm also saying that I've never seen it happen for anybody else. I've seen some, uh, the, the, the waking up is a light switch. It's on or it's off. You're awake or you're not. So when I say awake, what I mean is that you're conscious awakeness. You know that you are awakeness. There's no Fred here to be awake. There's no Susan over there to be unawake. There's, there's, there's no awakened unit on the planet. And there is, <coughs> There's no unawakened unit on the planet. There's just a whiteness that is clear or cloudy. Very simple. So, absolutism has us coming strictly from the point of view of the vastness. <clears throat> Relativity has us coming straight from the point of view of the meat. And then there's that weird thing in the middle where Nizagadatta said, 
All you need to do is listen to this. You'd say you don't need to practice or fail to practice or anything else. Kind of listen. In other words, that's your practice. <laughs> your practice is listening to sages. So, <clears throat> it just doesn't seem to be a practice. And if you're doing nothing, that's your practice. Right? That's, that's what somebody said. That's nothing you can do. I, I quit reading books. And I go, good. If you quit reading books, your head's not in the tiger's mouth. Right? I could never quit reading these books. I could never stop watching videos or listening to recordings. I just couldn't. I mean, I had to. And it was that was my job. That was my purpose in life. <clears throat> Everything else was just supportive of that. Now, I didn't necessarily agree to that position. I didn't want that position. That's just the position that arose here. <clears throat> so, units that are drawn to practice, there is something for them to do, which is to practice. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. It is the most pointed, skillful path for units that need that, need something to do, that need to move in that way. But units, but that doesn't mean that that's the answer for everybody, because it's not. Yana yoga, which is the yoga of knowledge, which is basically what this is, is <clears throat> considered to be the most difficult path. And I think it's the most difficult path because you don't have any practices to distract you. Unless you know you can, you can combine it with, with you, can, you can be doing this with some meditation. Nothing, no, there's, there's no rules here. There's nothing against, there's nothing out, nothing is outlawed. Nothing, there are no rules here whatsoever. So you can make you know, that and there is always a mix of the two. And yana yoga don't think there's no bhakti and bhakti think don't believe there's no yana. There is. The in practicing don't think that that's the only way and don't think it's the wrong way. What is it that works for you? That's the right way. That's the right thing. Let me tell you what worked for me. What worked for me is the recognition that I do not understand what's going on. Honest to God. I've been a teacher now for a long time. And I, or, I, I, eight years or something. And I don't, I don't, uh, I don't have the, I don't have the answer. I don't think that, I don't even know where I was. Just lost it. So rather than boil 18 minutes of video, <laughs> see how that happens? I mean, you may as well just tell them yourself and try to, instead of trying to come out of it, I mean, trying to get out of it gracefully, just confess. Look, I blew it. Uh, this thing's getting old, and it's this thing is, uh, the awakeness is sort of flighty anyway. So here we are. And what are we talking about? So whether we, whether there's anyone to do anything or not. And the answer is there absolutely is not, but there seems to be that you must get comfortable with paradox if you're going to stay here. If you're not, you're going to go crazy. I'm not going to go crazy. Just go find another path, right? This path will let you know if you can go find another path or not. Because if, they, if you've got your head in the tiger's mouth here, you can't go do something else, at least not for any length of time. This thing will rope you back in. How do I know it happened to me over and over again? And I see it happen with students over and over again. I see I lose students, and then they come back, and I lose students, and they come back. And I lose, Betsy talks about it all the time, you know, that um, because there's something that is pulling them to do something anyway, anyway. Not because it works, not because it's a strategy, not because it's a plan. Just do it anyway. Forget trying to understand. Forget trying to make sense out of it. If, <clears throat> if you want to meditate, meditate. If you want to do yoga, do yoga. If you want to 
um, inquire and everything. I mean, that's what that, that's my recommended path. See, I got a practice for you, which is to do inquiry. But you know, you but by the same token, I can give you another practice, which is just to listen to this a lot. <laughs> But there's nothing else actually required. It doesn't mean that I can do it for you. It means you do it for yourself. I, there's no I here to do it. For, there's no you to, over there. There's just oneness, awakeness. Um, it, it's, it can't not come to see itself at some point, but it feels like it is going to be forever. Practices are good for calming the mind. This living method is also good for calming the mind. Honest to God. I tell people in awakening sessions, so what we're doing, we're working with the mind. We're just trying to placate the mind so that we can introduce the truth without it being swatted away, which is the reflexive action, is to just swat it away. We're hit with the truth all day, every day. You can't imagine how much trouble it is to stay asleep until you're not. And then you can see, my God, how can I stay asleep in the face of all this evidence? It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of work to stay asleep. It takes absolutely no work to be where I am, to be here, the natural state. How could I? I mean, so, 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 so here's the there's nothing to do and there's no one to do it. And I, that's absolutely true. Nonetheless, this unit does that. See, that, that, that's the one that's hosting this topic. It's, it's, it's trying to help you. Why? I don't know. Because it can't not. That's why. Do I think you should listen to me or follow me or anything like that? No. Do I think you should? No. I just think you should do what you do. And we'll see what happens. And we'll call that good. <laughs> you have to include everything. You include the absolute. Which is that there's no one to do, no, there's nothing to do and no one to do it. And you include the relative. <clears throat> which is that you gotta do as much as you can. You gotta try hard. You gotta push. <clears throat> include it. Don't, don't outlaw it. Just because it doesn't appeal to you, just, it's not your path. It doesn't mean it's not a valid path. It's, <clears throat> it is not the shortest path. But I can guarantee you that. This is the shortest path, but the truth is, is that this thing has been waking up, so to speak, through this energetic pattern with DNA and all of that that's been going on for a very, very long time, for thousands of years. And the odds are that this thing has already gone, had already gone through its many, many years. Of practicing, and it still did many years on this planet too, lots. But you, your unit may be like that too. <clears throat> Find out. The reason I say that is that I've, I've just, I've just helped so many people who've been on this path. For I swear to God, I had a guy what last week or the week before, week before I think, and. Uh, he was 63, and he told me he had been on the path for 55 years. And he woke up with me in about an hour. What? Did he, did, 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 he did not need to practice anymore. I promise you that, because he came to this teaching, which has no practice, other than the inquiry, which is what I recommend you do if you're if you can pull that off. But if you can't pull it off, don't think you're supposed to. Don't think you're supposed to be doing anything that you're not doing. That's impossible. It's impossible for that unit to get it wrong. It doesn't mean that that everything it's doing is perfectly skillful in terms of what will happen for the will, will, will the quote character wake up or not. Will the will the unit become an awake being? <clears throat> the unit may have to go around confused for who knows how long. I don't know how that works. I'm not an authority on that. And when I say lifetimes, I'm not talking about a character. I'm not talking about people. I'm not talking about personalities that die and come back as worms or other people or whatever. I am not talking about that. I'm talking about energetic patterns that don't go away.
but they're not. There's no, there's no thread now, so I can guarantee you there's not going to be one that comes back. <laughs> what, what isn't here cannot come back. Right? So the thing you need to do when you're getting confused by these teachers saying this and teachers saying that is <clears throat> what if they're both right? But one feels more right to you. Have at it. Go there. If, it, if you are convinced that it's going to take 40 years of meditation in order for, the, for, for awakening to occur over there through that unit, you better get started. You've got 40 years ahead of <laughs> meditation ahead of you. You really do. Until that point of view has changed. But if you have an idea that it might not take you 40 years, that it might not take you really any time at all to wake up, that it can happen at a snap, and that snap can be almost be willfully induced. That's not quite true, but it's close. The <clears throat> then then this is your path. And if you feel like there's something in between, you can do this and that time. And I don't say you know, that's when I say this, I don't mean necessarily Fred, I mean any non dual teacher. Any non dual teacher can help you. There, also all of them out there are, they, they, there's an awakeness there. I mean, there's a lot of awakeness out there in, in the general run of non-dual teachers. You can tell it. There's some of them who aren't, but I mean, that's, a, that's, a, that's the way with every tradition. This just happens to be the pathless path. See, there, I don't have any path toward awakening. Because as best I can tell, there is no path toward awakening. There are paths that give you something to do for decades. And then awakening occurs in spite of that. <laughs> That's pretty much how I see it. But it's not really true. I understand that every unit's got to do what it does. But man, check yours out. See? See? Which one are you? If you don't believe in the in the, the 40 years, give this thing a try that we're doing here. Watch the videos. Read the books. I have people write me that have awakenings all the time from the books, from the videos, um, from the audio books. They're particularly good for that. Uh, especially Awaken Now and the Book of Undoing. Those two pop pop people all the time. The, um, and <clears throat> I don't know that they stay awake forever, but awakeness is a light switch. It's, it's awake. It knows itself right now. The durability of any awakening is always going to depend on the attention that's given the truth in post-awakening. And this is where attention pays attention to attention. And for some people, it may just be talking to this thing once a week, or, or whatever, talking to somebody, right? But I just, I'm just trying to just say any, any stage. It could be just, you know, enlightened conversation. Who knows? For somebody else, it'll be meditation. For somebody else, it's going to be bowing and for somebody else it's going to be singing or praising you know or dancing or doing whatever it is that they do awakeness is coming through almost eight billion units because it's interested in every experience this whole thing that's happening this i'm dreaming that i'm a thread and that i'm having a life through a thread and it's all a dream but it is my experience as awakeness. It is my experience. And, and it's really quite entertaining. And it's, uh, even when it's scary, you gotta, you gotta say, it's got me on the edge of my chair. Right? It is entertaining. It's not, it's not boring here. Uh-uh. So if you're bored, you're not on the, you're not on the, you're not on your right path. Well, I don't know that I've answered any questions, but I noticed I've talked for half an hour, and I certainly hope that I've answered some of your questions. Remember that you can uh, um, go to awakeningclaritynow.com. You can find more information in the post, but this is not really about information. What this is about is a new presentation of what everybody has in this field has known for 6,000 years. That's what it's really about. This is a, the, the living method is a new way of coming to see the only truth 
that there is or has ever been. It's a new presentation. It's not a new truth. Thank you, everybody. Love you so much. And I will see you soon.